Before I start this video, I know my hair is a mess. I just and also before I start this video, you know, let's get some good lighting up in here, you know. Oh my gosh, that is not too bad on the camera stand. But okay, we got another light. And another light. Better guys? Yeah, so don't say anything in the comments section about my hair. It needs cut. That's my sister. And no, okay. I probably should have got these out for us. This, this. Oh no, that was okay. Alex Redix is the greatest predicting show on the internet. Yep. Facts. That's not a fact though. Because there's a lot bigger predicting ones than mine. But I'm really good though. I'm like. Two games behind the NFL predictor. No, sorry. I'm one game behind the NFL predictor, dude. It's one game better than me. It proves how good I am at predicting. But yeah, I was tied with him until I remembered the Buccaneers beat the Seahawks. But anyways, last week was a really good week. I went 13 and 3 last week. Uh, my overall record is 108 wins, 67 losses, and two ties. Really good. Uh, Cowboys beat Redskins. Um, Lions beat Vikings. And Steelers beat Colts were all the Thanksgiving games. Um, I didn't really watch the Cowboys Redskins game. I wanted to. But it kind of got spoiled for me. Because it's like the Thanksgiving big game. And all that stuff gets spoiled. Because you get all the notifications on your phone. And yeah. I mean, we ate uh, Thanksgiving at that time. And uh, well Thanksgiving dinner. Because my grandma for some reason. eats it. For a really odd time to eat. Let me know when you guys eat for Thanksgiving. But that was really odd. Which I'm disappointed that I missed that game. And then my grandpa watched it. So I just ended up watching the third and fourth quarter with him. And my dad just uh, stayed out there in the kitchen um, doing work. Because he did not want to know how the game ends. But yeah. I didn't watch that one because it was spoiled for me. Anyways, uh, Falcons beat Cardinals, Ravens beat Bengals, Titans beat Bears, and Giants beat Browns. Texans lost to Chargers. Uh, like I said last week, that one could have went either way for me. Um, Dolphins beat 49ers, Saints beat Rams. And they did a trick play in the fourth quarter when they were up 21 points. Really? Is that really necessary? Um, yeah, Saints beat Rams. Seahawks lost to Buccaneers. No clue how that happened. Uh, Raiders beat Panthers. Their car got a dislocated pinky. Ooh boy, your pinky. I'm sure a lot of players would have played for a broke pinky. I would have. But again, he's the quarterback. And I'm a running back. I tried to broke my leg. But I couldn't play the facts. I can't walk. <laughs> Still can't walk now, even though I got the cast off. Should be walking in two weeks. But yeah. Um, yeah. Um, they popped the back in and he said, ooh, ooh, that still feels wrong. And then they had to pop it back in again because it was double dislocated. Um, so, yeah, Raiders beat Panthers. Uh, Patriots beat Jets on the game-winning drive. Chiefs beat Broncos by a weird kick that hit off the left upright and somehow made it through the right one. Uh, and Eagles lost the Packers. I have lost faith in the Eagles. That's it. But next week... I believe they could beat the Bengals. The Bengals are just season's gone. Their best player is AJ Green, and pfft, now their best player is Matt Ryan. See why they're bad? I'm not calling Andy Dalton bad. It's just that he's not too good anymore without AJ Green. And he, the Dominic, no, that's the Dolphins defense now. Um, Sanu, no clue what his first name is. But he was good with AJ Green. Well, now he's on the Falcons, but. Yeah, so the Bengals aren't too good anymore. And Dalton's a decent quarterback, but he's terrible without his receiver, A.J. Green. But anyways, week 13. Cowboys over Vikings. Uh, Falcons over Chiefs. Ravens over Dolphins. 49ers over Bears. Eagles over Bengals, which I talked about a little bit earlier. Um, yeah, Eagles over Bengals. Uh, Texans over Packers. Uh, yeah, Texans over Packers. Um, Broncos over Jaguars. Patriots over Rams, Lions over Saints, that's going to be a close one, Raiders over Bills, um, Cardinals over Redskins, going to be a close game, Giants over Steelers, also going to be a close game, Buccaneers over Chargers, Seahawks over Panthers, Colts over Jets. 
and the Giants and Steelers. If the Giants lose and the Cowboys win tonight on Thursday night, well, that will make uh, the Cowboys uh, have locked up the number one seed in the playoffs. If the Cowboys win this one and the Giants lose uh, Sunday, the Cowboys will be number one in the NFL still. And uh, then they can lose their last five games. I mean, sorry, three games. They can lose their last three games if they win this one and the Giants lose. And they'll still be number one in the NFL. I have no clue why earlier. I said if they win this one, they'll still be number one in the NFL. No clue I said them. I, I had a hiccup in my throat. That's why I did, did that. But yeah, Giants lose this week, and the Cowboys win tonight. And the Cowboys have locked up the number one seed. So, yeah, I have to go start the vlog, guys. And as always, have a nice day. Sorry. Oh, man. This always happens to me.